The statistical procedures we learn in this class will rely on the measurements we make of the world. Now, we will intend to make principled and methodical measurements of the world, but it's worth mentioning or discussing some of the qualities of measurements and different scales of measurements that we can make. Now, first, a definition. Measurement on the whole is the process of assigning numbers or labels to physical phenomena according to a rule. Now, this may seem like an overly pedantic definition of measurement, and perhaps it is, but don't let it escape you that measurement is actually somewhat of an abstract thing. For instance, if I'm trying to measure the extent in space that my coffee cup takes up, I take a piece of wood out, and lucky for me, this piece of wood has little tick marks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that piece of wood next to my coffee cup, and I'm going to find the place where the extent in space of my coffee cup stops, and I'm going to find the tick mark on that piece of wood next to that place where the coffee cup ends. Now, lucky for me, too, this piece of wood actually has numerals on it. So what I'm going to do in this measurement is I'm going to read off the numeral that's next to the tick mark where the coffee cup ends. Now, of course, we know this as just measuring a coffee cup with a ruler, but don't let the familiarity of this process make you think that it's anything less than what it is. We agree on the measurements that we make. We agree on the length of an inch, and we produce mechanisms that allow other individuals to take measurements that will agree with each other. Measurement, then, can be seen as the process of taking our subjective experiences of the world and encapsulating them in an objective way. So my measurement of my coffee cup will agree with any other person's measurement of my coffee cup, assuming that we both agree on the rule to make the measurements. For physical phenomena, it's usually pretty easy for us to agree. But for a wide class of phenomena, there isn't a single physical observation that would give us access to measuring the phenomena itself. Now, these phenomena we refer to as constructs or internal attributes or characteristics that cannot be directly observed. For instance, suppose we're doing a study and we're interested in people's anxiety in anticipation of giving a public talk. To measure someone's anxiety is actually fairly tricky. How would you measure how anxious somebody is?